All right, guys and girls. This chapter. This chapter was so insane. I, 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 I never expected to that this could happen. That this actually happened. So let's go into it. Let's just dive into it. So a couple of days ago, I was like, I don't know, just reading or watching some YouTube videos. Um, seeing some clip about how Luffy heard the voices in the deep sea down below or from those fishes that saved the big uh, boat. I don't know the name right now, but... And Golden Roger also heard the voices of those same fishes. Uh, because he was like, who is talking here? What the heck? And he was, and of course, they would thought he was crazy because, well, they're down at the sea like kilometers deep and nobody's talking. And um, even the fishes are, those fishes, the giants, are like, how does he, does he really know we're talking? How? Very strange all, but Luffy also heard them. And now, uh, Momo Mono no Suke and Luffy are hearing Zo talking. Of course, because I'm sorry, I have some cuts on my fingers. Of course, because Zo is in pain, Jack is attacking it. And at first, it was like, What's going to happen? How are they going to get fast enough to Jack to stop him? Because this is a big problem. So is talking to them, explaining a bit what's going to happen if he falls down. And of course, the sea is deep. And it is a, a, bit, a little bit strange because how deep is the sea there if they fall down? How long are the legs from so, I don't know, but they are gigantic. So I can believe they are even deep in the sea from meters, 100 meters, maybe more. I can understand that. So, a bit scary. I was like, all right, what's going to happen? So, he asked for permission. So, asked for permission to fight. And I was like, all right, so, so, that sounds really strange. All right, so, so, what you're going to do? But it is it. So, what you're going to do, so, and... He asked him permission to fight because I don't know why normally he wouldn't fight, but he asked it. Luffy said, well, you can probably better say because probably he won't listen to me and you have more authority, stuff like that. So he said, yes, you can attack him. And at that point, that trunk came down and obliterated, really destroyed the whole fleet of Jack, I was, that was ins literally insane. Oh man, I really, I, I felt a little bad when they started attacking him. I really could feel how evil they are. And I still love Jack a bit. We're sorry for that if you hate him. But I also feel felt so good when he, he was attacked like that. I felt so good when that whole truck blowed everything away. I was like, dang, you, that power, that is insane. It was amazing to see, really amazing. So at the end, we see somebody calling Kaido, saying that the connection is lost with Jack. I don't know who it is, but I can understand that Kaido is not happy. Of course, he is not like, all right, screw you, Jack, because Jack is his first man. If I say right, if I'm wrong, sorry, you can correct me in the comments. Um, I guess he's his first man. So that makes it like, well, if his connection is lost, he probably knows how strong he is. If something's happening, it must be big, of course. So that's very exciting. I'm... I'm excited for Kaido's reaction. Kaido is a beast. Jack is a beast. Oh, man. It cannot get any better, I guess. But it can, and I'm excited, and it's amazing, and I I just love it. I just love this week and the new chapters. It's amazing. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think about this week's chapter, Jack and the Trunk, and everything. Oh, amazing. 
so good. I, I almost already forget that we had no chapter last week. If you liked this review, give it a thumbs up, share it with some friends, maybe even subscribe if you want to see more of me. That would be amazing. I would love that. Thank you again for watching. I hope I'll see you next time.